Okay, well, hello again. That was quick. Um, I'm going to, this installment is going to cover chapter 10 of uh, propositional logic, particularly the validity uh, of arguments in propositional logic. Um, now, quick note, um, I know last, uh, last installment, last chapter, I definitely wanted you to do a lot of reading in the book. This chapter, I don't necessarily want you to look at the book too much, um, although I'm going to kind of get away from what's in the book. The book is going to talk a lot about logical proofs, uh, and I think that's just a little too advanced for this course. That's something that belongs more in formal logic, um, so we're not going to get into it. But we are still going to talk about logical validity, and we're still going to be using truth tables. So. Um, uh, you know, this is going to be very tedious work, as we saw with the last example that I did, uh, the last installment. When you get a lot of rows, it could be really tedious, but uh, we're going to keep going through it. It's uh, definitely helpful. Um, I'm going to go through some examples with you. This is kind of, uh, it, this shouldn't be a very long installment. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the examples in the notes, just because some of them are really, really long. Uh, but I'll definitely do uh, at least two or three examples here um, to help you out to see how these things work. And hopefully you've been practicing and doing some of the practice problems and homework. And, uh, and you get a good, you've gotten a good feel of how to do truth tables. Um, like I said, they're, they're tedious work, uh, but they're, they're helpful. Um, and so, we're going to go ahead, like I said, look at validity. And now uh, I've said this a few times probably, right? Uh, that uh, for an argument to be valid, uh, uh, or rather, an argument is valid when the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises. So let's translate this into the terms that we're using here for truth tables, right? So that means when all the premises are true, the conclusion is also true. So, if there happens to be a case where all the premises are true, but the conclusion ends up being false, then the argument is invalid. So this is what we're going to be doing this today. We're going to, this chapter. We're going to be setting up truth tables for arguments, um, and we're going to determine the truth values for the premises and the conclusion for every possible truth value of the propositional units. Um, and so when our tables are complete, what we're going to be looking for are situations in which all the propositions are true. Okay? Those are really going to be the only rows of value to us, um, are ones in which all the propositions are true. So, once we look at those rows, we're going to then look at the truth value of the conclusion. If all the tr premises are true and uh, in every instance in which all the premises are true, if the conclusions are also true, then the argument is valid. However, if all, if, there, let's say there's multiple instances in which the, all the premises are true, and if even in one of those, all the premises are true, but the conclusion is false, then the argument as a whole is invalid. Alright, and so that may sound very confusing, as I just said it, but hopefully after doing an example or two, uh, we'll get through it. So let's do the first example that I have in the notes here. Alright, uh, premises, uh, so premise one is if A, then B, premise two is if B, then A, the conclusion is A is equivalent to B. Okay? There's our arguments. Let's go ahead and make our truth table for it. So we have two propositional units, which means we only need four rows. This one's going to be nice. A and B. Okay, so premise one, and it may be helpful for you to actually label both the boxes the premise numbers, right? 
premise, premise, and then this is going to be a separate conclusion. So, completing an A, right? So, if you've been practicing, you should know this. If A, then B. So, if true, then true is true. In this case, if true, then false is false, remember? If false, then true, true. If false, then false, true. Now, here's the good thing about this in terms of truth tables. Remember, what are we looking for? We're looking for instances in which all the premises are true. Okay? Well, we already have a false premise. What does that mean? That means that we don't even have to do the rest of that row. It's now dead to us. It's not a matter of our concern. Well, let's continue. So now, second premise, if B, then A. So true. If true, then true is true. Here we have if true, then false. You know that's false. And we also know that we don't care about that row anymore either. Okay? If false, then false. It's true. Okay? So now to see our conclusion. True equals true. Well, that's true. False equals false. It's also true. So, remember, like I said, we're going to be interested in the rows in which all the premises are true. That's why these two don't matter, because they have false premises. So now, these are the rows in which both the premises are true. Now let's look at the truth value of the conclusion. Well, this one, okay, true premise, true premise, true conclusion. So far, so good. True premise, true premise, true conclusion. Awesome. That means that this, that this argument... Is valid. Well, I wrote that in one spot where you can't see it. No. Um, alrighty. And so it's that simple. It's actually it's not that difficult, really. If you if you know how to translate, you know kind of how to do the truth tables. It's not that difficult. It will get a little bit more difficult. Obviously, like I said, when you have uh, some extended premises or whatnot. Um, but uh, we will go down. I think I'm going to try to keep it pretty simple in terms of the extended premises because um, it is a little difficult to work with. So let's add an extra propositional unit. Raise this. Adding an extra propositional unit is just fun and challenging, and everybody loves a challenge. At least I do. All right, so we're going to have three premises uh, and three different proposition units here. Here we're going to have A or B, premise two, not B, and C, premise three, C, and not A, and a conclusion. B or C. Um, so we're throwing some knots in here, which is going to change things a little bit. Um, so let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and make the truth table there.
So it may be good. Some people like to do these in different ways, right? Either you go through and you just kind of do the whole row and just go down, or just do it premise by premise. I think we're going to do it premise by premise. It may make it easier. And one thing that will be good, right, is that we can eliminate whole rows if it ends up being false. Remember? So let's go ahead and do that, right? So true or true, true, true or true, true, true or false, true, true or false, true, false or true, true, false or true, true, false or false, false. Okay, so we could basically get rid of these last two rows and why again? Because the premises are false. Which wouldn't tell us anything about its validity. So let's move on to the next one. Now remember, this one is going to get a little tricky, right? Because so you have your not. And your not is going to change the, the, um, the truth value of B here. So here we have true, which not true, so false. And true, false. Here we have false. False, which is false. Here we have true and true. True, right? Now remember, it's true because B in this situation is false and not B would be true. And C is true, so true. Uh, so not false, which is true, or and false. False. Uh, not true, which is false, and true is false. False, false, false. false. Wow, so now look at this. This is going to save us a whole bunch of time. We don't care about this guy. We don't care about this guy. We don't care about this guy. Or this guy. Or this guy. Okay, so we have one left. Okay, and here, C is true. And A is true. And not true would be false. Okay, and in that situation, so in this situation we can see that um, we don't have an instance in which all the things are true, which would also cause us to say that this argument is invalid. So there's never a situation in which all the premises are even true, right? So, uh, again, to reiterate, uh, what makes an argument valid is that all the premises are true and the conclusion follows. Well, we couldn't even figure out one case in which all the premises were true in this one. Um, so, therefore, it is invalid. Let's go ahead and do one more. Alright. And go ahead and choose a different Argument. A plus one would be not A. Plus two is going to be if A then B. Plus three is going to be not B by C. The conclusion is going to be C. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that out. So it's just C, not B, by C, by B, A.
Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Then. Well, now we have a good one, right? So the first premise is not A. Right, so that means it's going you know, to reverse the truth value. And remember, we're not interested. Well, let's go ahead and just do it right now. So let's just look. Whenever A is true, it's going to be false. Whenever it's false, it's going to be true. So here we have true, so false, true, false. True. Well, we looked up, right? The first four rows here are irrelevant to us because the premise is false. Let's go from here. Uh, if A, then B. Okay? So if A, then B. A is if false, then true. True, if false, then true, true, if false, then false, true, if false, then false, true. Okay. If not, if not B, then C. Okay, so false and true, true, false and true, true, true and true, true, true and false, false, we have a false premise, we don't need this last row. Okay, so here, now we just literally just copy it from C. So here it was true, there it was false, and here it was true. Okay? What we see here, right, especially in this row, right? True premise, true premise, true premise, false conclusion. Okay? Now, what do we say? All true premises, false conclusion. It is invalid. Alrighty. Um, so, it's a pretty good uh, uh, way to do it. Um, like I said, there will be more. Uh, you have a whole bunch of examples here in the notes. I want you to look through them. Um, but it's as simple as that. When you're doing the truth tables, um, just do it one by one, proposition by proposition, right? Premise by premise, uh, and you know, have conclusion as well. Again, it'll help the label. And what are you looking for? You're looking for an instance in which you have all true premises and a false conclusion, and that makes it invalid, right? You write this down. All true premises plus false conclusion equals invalid. And so we're looking to figure it out. If we end up having one, right, um, Likewise, if we have one where we can't even make all the premises true, that's also invalid. That means there's something really wrong with those statements put together. They can't even make all the premises true. Um, but it's valid, right, if you can get all premises to be true and have only true conclusions in those instances, right? Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for this uh, section again. I think you know we have two weeks to work on this stuff. I'll give you some practice problems, and you have your homework. You also have a quiz coming up on uh, propositional logic as a whole. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to be done here within the next two weeks. I really want you guys to work hard. Email me if you have any questions on some of this stuff. Again. Uh, get the notes. There's a whole bunch more examples in the notes, some with uh, a lot more propositional units. Um, so go ahead and work on those and email me if you have any questions, please.